Welcome to the second video in the Data Video Tutorial Series, where we show you tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your SE1200MU HD switcher and RMC260 control panel. In this video, we will show you how to do Still Store with the RMC260 control panel. Still Store is one of the most useful functions of the SE1200MU. It lets you capture up to 1,000 screenshots to the switcher's internal memory and then replace any of your six input sources with those screenshots at any time. The still store process is made up of two major parts, saving the still into a memory bank and loading it as an input source. You'll use the two knobs located to the right of the RMC260 to navigate the menu and set your options. As you can see, the left knob, which is labeled as Menu, performs up and down functions. It is also used to enter and exit the switcher's menu interface. The knob on the right, which is labeled as Enter, is moving left and right within the menu interface. It also serves as the Enter key. Let's begin by learning how to easily grab a screenshot by just pressing one button. The RMC260 has a feature called Grab, which allows you to easily grab a screenshot from a program source and automatically puts it into Input 6. This is a quick and easy way to grab a still image as a screenshot. Now, to save that screenshot, let's start by entering the SE1200MU's menu interface by pressing the left knob. Next, navigate using the same knob to the stills menu. And then, press the right knob to enter that menu. Use the left knob again to go down to save still. We have to set two things, the input where we want to capture the still from, and the still store bank where we want to save the image. Navigate to input and press the enter knob. It turns green, which means you're about to change an option. Use the same knob to select the input to capture the image from. Then, press the Enter knob again to set that option. Now, we're going to select the bank to save that screenshot to. You can choose an empty memory bank, or you can overwrite a still image on an existing bank. It's entirely up to you. Go to the button that says Still Num and press the Enter knob. The Still Number option turns green. Use the same knob to select the bank that you want to save the still image to. Then, press the Enter knob once more. Now that the options are set, it's time to save the still. Using the right knob, navigate to the Save button and press the knob. It turns green, as if to ask, are you sure? Yes, you are. So press the knob once again. It turns red, as if to say, there's no turning back now, and it's done. Now, it's time to replace one of the input sources with the still image we just saved. Once again, there are two steps. We need to choose our still and then tell the switcher which source input we want to replace with that still. Go to load still using the navigation knobs. Then navigate to still num and press the enter knob. This will let us pick the still that we saved earlier. Use the right knob to select the still from earlier and press the enter knob. Great. Now let's pick which input we want to replace with that still image. Go to Input. Press the Enter knob once again and select an input. Press the Enter knob once again. The options are set. Now it's time to make magic. Navigate to Load and press the Enter button. It turns green. Let's press it one more time and it turns red. And it's loaded. Press the Menu knob until you've exited the menu interface. Congratulations! You've now saved a still image and loaded it into one of the camera input slots. You can now switch to this still image at any time during your show. This is perfect for putting on show logos, intro and outro screens, and chroma key backgrounds, all of which can drastically improve the look and feel of your video production. For more tips and tricks on the SE1200ME switcher, check out the other videos in our tutorial series. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.